What is up guys? Um, it was pretty cool, like, I've been recording a vlog every day and it's been really fun, like, um, I don't know, getting to talk to you guys, like, every single day. It feels like we friends. Are we friends? You guys gotta let me know. But anyways, um, we're back again with meal number one. Today we had to swap out the potato for a little bit of rice instead, just because I didn't have any. Uh, so I have to go food shopping a little bit later. And maybe I can take you guys, like, on a late night um, food shopping run because... My supermarket's open until, I think it's open 24 seven actually. So, and I like going when no one's there just cause I don't know, I don't, I don't like bringing the camera in the store. Um, but yeah, we have the yogurt here going and I have a story to start this um, vlog off today with because I kind of been realizing about this, about myself as I'm way too like nice sometimes in certain situations or like way too, like a pushover in a sense, right? So um, yesterday, someone came to buy my work van off of me because uh, we're selling it off for the pool season and we're going to get a pickup truck later. Um, but yeah, so we were talking price and the person that came was just like, all right, so what's your best, best price? And then like right away, when usually when you negotiate, you kind of like lower it down a tiny bit or you say, hey, the price is firm. Right away, I dropped the price a thousand dollars, like literally off the bat. And in my head, I'm like, oh my God. You're literally such an idiot. Like, why would you do that? Um, and I don't know. I feel like I got to work on that kind of skill in general in life. I feel like I let a lot of things slide sometimes or I let a lot of things go, um, which is partially good sometimes because if you like constantly um, worry about, you know, what other people say or things about you, then I feel like you're going to live a less happier life, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm using a spoon today. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we're going to eat these three eggs here. Like I said, again, they're raw, pretty much raw. And then I have a little bit of rice and then my yogurt. Um, a little bit later today, I have a meeting with someone who's going to kind of help me establish this Controlled Insanity brand more as an actual company. Um, I really, really, really want to start bringing athletes on in the future uh, who kind of embody the Controlled Insanity uh, mindset. Um, but that, it's going to be a very exciting couple of, I don't know, not even weeks, months, maybe life. <laughs> Um, but I really just want to start this video off with saying like, you know, you really want something, you really got to, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know if this is healthy to say, but kind of get obsessive with it and really push yourself to not have any free time in a sense. Um, it sounds, it sounds kind of unhealthy, but re recently I've been just not giving myself any time to do anything outside of what I'm doing, like fitness, clothing, etc. And it sucks in the moment, it gives me a lot of stress, but I feel like it's something that could potentially pay off and I'm always down for a risk. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna eat this joint and then we're gonna cook up meal number two. Sorry for like showing you guys the same meals every day, but this is honestly just what I'm truly eating and I'm sticking to the meal plan and I'm feeling really, really good. I'm feeling really lean today and I'm very happy. So um, it's working out pretty well right now. So um, I'm gonna eat this and I'll catch you guys um, in the next one. And not in the next one, in the next clip. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to cook up our beef and rice meal now. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the seasonings that I've been using. Using, <laughs> um, using just because, I don't know, Like I feel like the season, when you make ground beef, um, the seasoning is like what makes the entire meal. If you don't have a good season on it, it's probably not going to hit as well. Um, I recommend you guys try this one. It's called Grillmate Sweet and Smoky. Uh, it just makes the food so much more enjoyable. Um, I think especially when doing bodybuilding, there's like these little things that you could do that really make it so much easier than it has to be. Like you don't have to like really kill yourself and have plain chicken, plain beef, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, the spray I use is the um, zero calorie Pam butter. Um, it also makes it taste way better. Um, I know there is a couple calories, whatever, whatever, but um, when I was speaking to someone the other day about kind of cardio forms, like what kind of like forms of cardio do you do? Um, I was talking to him and he was telling me like he just keeps everything consistent like every single day and then gradually, you know, increases cardio or decreases the food volume, right? But in terms of knowing the exact calories of something, I think as long as you have like a, um, a baseline of what it is and then you stick with that consistency the whole cut it doesn't really matter if the potatoes were 400 calories a serving if along that cut you were lowering them down as you went you know what i'm saying like as long as you keep a consistent basis on the foods you eat 
um, and track when you go down. I think that's all that really matters. Um, you know, I think uh, we usually overcomplicate the process sometimes. Um, you know, and there's some things that, that do have a role, but overall I think it's, it's pretty simple once you get into it more. Um, but also I wanted to talk to you guys about just kind of something that's improved my, quali my life quality. Um, in terms of just kind of cutting people out of your life that are kind of negative for you, they, they give you a lot of negative comments or like they kind of, you kind of sense that feeling from them that they, they don't really, you know, appreciate you in that sense. I feel like if you're not being appreciated by a friend, a loved one, even your own parents, even your own parents, because I never really talk about my relationship with my mom on this, but it's not it's not really the best it's it's a pretty toxic one that i've had for years which is why i really want to move out um but yeah in terms of stuff like that i feel like it's so hard to cut them out of your life but once you finally do i think the weight off my shoulders has just been so much better you know surround yourself with people who actually care for you and will truly at the end of the day hold it down for you um Everyone I, I'm friends with, I'm, I'll always hold it down for them, you know, like they need something, they're in a, you know, emergency. Those are my true friends, you know, those are not just acquaintances, but those are, you know, true friends. And that's what I kind of wanted to get out to you guys. Because you don't want to be associated with people that make you feel um, down or not appreciated or anything like that. Um, so I, I don't have many friends, but... Um, the people that I am friends with, I, I can trust them with my, my entire life. So, yeah. Um, we're going to cook this whole pack of beef. Um, I usually meal prep stuff, but recently i just been cooking the pack one at a time. Um, I hope you guys are liking kind of the daily vlog stuff from me. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments, but we're going to make this meal and then eat it up. And then um, go to that little meeting I have later probably take a nap I haven't taken a nap in so long um, but yeah we're gonna take care of things all right y'all so we're about to meet up with Ryan and do the little thing I was talking about uh, but here I want to introduce Jacob say what's good hey. um, so he's the one that's been helping me on all the drops recently for controlled insanity um, and like I said we're trying to scale this up to you know a standing company and one that's actually you know sponsors people etc but uh, that's what we're going to this meeting for to see what goes on with that um, but yeah he's been big help in getting all the orders out and doing stuff like that so I'm gonna catch you guys after the meeting and then we'll have our third meal of the day we in fucking 7-eleven uh yes sir uh so what was I gonna say um usually I do um a can just because I don't know I feel like the powder joints is just you know they're all right, but they hit they hit more. But cans are just good as fuck. So we're probably gonna go with the uh, Celsius joint. Wait, did you got one already? You're good. I got the, the Kim Kardashian. The Kim, oh, all right, hold up. We might go with if they got lemon lime. I'm gonna go with that one. That's like probably the best flavor in this for me. Uh, they don't what they got. Shoot, I do like green apple joint. And since we're uh, pretty cheap, we want to save money, we go for the deal here. We go orange. So this is where I spend probably like $150 a week here. They take all my money. Um, we used to buy mad fucking protein snacks and shit, but now we're on the meal plan joint. So we're going to keep that rolling. But yeah, so we're going to train. I'm training chest today, but he was, he trained chest yesterday. So he's probably going to do some arms. Then we got some cardio, but yeah, I'll catch y'all there. Holla at your boy. All right, we've made it to the dungeon. This is the steps that I go down to get here. With this is a little window. Let's run it up. All right, guys, um, we're here to do chest today. Um, I'm gonna start off with the incline hammer strength like I usually do, but um, let me raise the chair up a little bit. This is a, take care. This is a little new angle joint I got going on. Uh, but we're going to run it. Um, same thing as usual. We're going to do two sets till failure. Um, two sets of eight, actually. Um, so let's get it going. This is one of my favorite chest exercises out there.
right, we're gonna get some warm-ups done and then jump into our working set, which is probably three plates or two and a half plates for eight reps. And then from there, we're gonna move on to um, flies. We do seated chest flies, and then we also do uh, seated flat press. So yeah, let's get it. All right, we're actually feeling pretty strong today, so we're gonna hit um, three plates on each side. Uh, I'm gonna go for the eight to 12 range, but honestly, three plates is a little bit much for me right now on my diet. Um, but we're gonna run it through, guys. Remember, if you're not scared of the weight, then you're not doing enough weight. So let's push this one. Um, that was a little heavy, but uh, I liked it. I liked it. We're gonna run this for one more set, and then we're gonna go for um, the next workout, which is um, actually a seated press. I don't think I ever showed you guys like um, a dumbbell press yet. So today we're gonna actually do incline dumbbell press, um, which I haven't even done in a long time, but it's like one of my staples in um, bodybuilding. So we're gonna start with a warm up again. We do like two warm up sets, and then from there we go to our working set. So let's start with 40, then maybe 80, and then maybe in the hundreds for my working set. But don't exhaust yourself before your actual working set. A lot of people do that, so let's do it. now <clears throat> um, I don't like taking too many warm-up sets just because it fucks up with like um, my actual working set so let's warm up with the 80s and then we'll push on to our top set of the day <clears throat> You see how I only do like three reps? Uh, I think once you feel out the weight, is that's all you really need to do. You don't really need to go further than that. Um, so let's finish this up and then let's get into our actual top set of the day. All right, we're gonna get into our working set. Um, for some reason, they only have 110 and they don't have anything like lower than that. That's like, I was gonna go for the hundreds, but we, I guess we're gonna do 85s till failure for these two working sets. Uh, but we're really gonna control the movement and just make it a little bit harder on myself. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> let's run it up, Kevin, come on. that joint for one more set and then we're gonna push to cable flies um, one of my favorite chest exercises all right we're gonna move on to one of my actually my favorite tricep workouts um, I like this one just because I could really push the failure on this one um, without you know having to drop any weight or you know potentially get injured um, this one you could just keep on ripping it up, ripping it up until you're done. So 
We're gonna warm up like one warm up set on this. You don't need too many. Just to get the right form down. And from there, we're just gonna rip the hell out of this weight. And these are one of my favorite overall tricep exercises. So, let's start with a little bit of a lighter weight of 50. Okay. I kind of keep my elbows in, right? And pull up just like that. Stop right here, go again. Nice and controlled. Okay. See, so that's just, that's like my only warm up set right there. And then from there, we're gonna rip on to a really heavy weight for around eight to 12 reps. Um, but I'm very excited. This is one of my favorite joints. Um, we just took a little break from chest to give it a rest and then we're gonna finish off with flies over there um, and then move on to a little more tricep and um, a little more um, side delts. All right, let's get into our working joint. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. Come on. This is gonna be some heavy shit. I've never done this weight yet. But I want to experience it first time with y'all, so let's run it up. Come on. Come on, motherfucker. That was a good one, that was a good one. We're gonna do that joint one more time and then we're gonna head on to possibly a tricep push down as my second tricep workout of the day. Um, and then we're gonna go into some chest flies and side lateral raises, which I love. I really, honestly, side lateral raises is all you really need sometimes. It really is. Let's do it. All right, you guys already know this is uh, my favorite tricep workout of all time. I mean, it's literally just you pushing down. But um, what I do recommend when you're doing this one is, if you wanna hit your tricep, make sure your chest is, you keep your chest up and you're not leaning forward and pushing down. You're gonna hit your shoulders and your chest more. So try to go more for the um, straight down. And we're gonna do one warm up set. And then from there, we're gonna jump right into the actual top set. All right, let's run up this working set joint. Let's get it going. Fuck that, fuck it, fuck it. That gentleman was lifting me off the goddamn chair. That's how you know it's heavy enough though. You know what I'm saying? Forearms is bumping right now. All right guys, welcome to some side delt training with Kevin. Um, I don't really see many people doing this one right here. Uh, I think it's very underrated. I enjoy this one because I feel like I can really go heavy on it and then like automatically drop set with that, without having to like, you know, drop dumbbells, pick up the next pair of dumbbells, drop set it, you know, with this one, it's just very pin, go, pin, go, pin, go. So we're gonna do one, one full on working set here till failure. And then we'll, after that, we're gonna jump into the same weight, but we're gonna drop down and do a drop set. You know what I'm saying? So let's run that joint up right there. 
on the same exact number we just had. We're gonna do that again, and then from there instantly drop a uh, single rack, you know, one pin up every time. And man, just, you're gonna have the best pump of your life on this joint. So um, let's rest a little bit and then run that one up. All right, let's run this drop set now. So like I said, we go from one to the other to the other, no rest periods, no breaks, no nothing. We run right into it. Right into it, if I could put the goddamn pin in. Hold on, there we go. Can't even move my, my, my arms to put the damn pin in. <clears throat> That's the big loop. My shoulders are gassed the hell up right now. That was a very, very good set. Uh, we're gonna jump right into some chest flies to end off the workout and maybe a little bit of lateral raises. We'll see how I feel. All right, we're gonna run some lateral raise joints here. Um, I usually stick with the 30s just because um, they, you don't really wanna go too heavy on it. You wanna feel it and control it. So we're gonna run the 30s for two sets and then move on to our last chest workout. That was a good um, first set. We're gonna run that one more time and then chest fly that joint up. Oh, hell no, son. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all already know, last workout of the day, we're gonna hit up the chest fly joints. These are probably the best pump exercise for your chest. Um, I kind of set it up right uh, at the top of my pecs let me go find the cable the other cable for this joint hold up 
Where do you have a cable at? Who's eating cables here? It's you, gorilla. It's you. You ate the damn. Oh, it's right here. All right, we're gonna run this one up. I usually aim for 12 to 15 on this just because I want to pump. Listen to him, guys. Get the rubs in. They don't know you, Kevin. Yes, this is fucking fire. One of the best chest exercises to ever hit the planet. <laughs> exactly. Simple chest movements. Eat more. Pin, pin in the booty, and you're good. <laughs> Pump is pumping right now. Holy balls deep. Holy balls deep. We're gonna do one more of these joints and then pose down for y'all, get naked a little bit. And me and him are gonna do a little something in the car. <laughs> All right, uh, we just got home from our chest session and cardio. Um, honestly, like these last couple of weeks have been real tough on me in terms of just, you know, uh, my energy levels and stuff like that. Like this shit ton of cardio for me, um, the low amount of calories, it's tough, but like, you know, um, we're going to push through it and I'm kind of like happy that I'm, um, showing you guys uh, all of this on a vlog, uh, just so you guys could kind of see like what goes on, you know, in between my life in a sense, right? Cause usually people will only see, you know, from start to finish, they'll see one transformation video and then they'll assume you're on this, you're on that, but they don't really see what, you know, kind of happens behind the scenes or like when you're at home and stuff. Um, but this bodybuilding stuff truly means a lot to me. And um, I catch myself feeling lost a lot of, a lot of my, a lot of the time. Sorry. Um, a lot of, so I, I keep saying, um, by the way, I'm sorry about that. It's just, I get nervous when I just fucking talk on a camera, but yeah, so I catch myself so I catch myself like just feeling lost a lot and kind of, you know, the person that I am sometimes. Um, this is a very obsessive sport. You got to be on top of everything. You have to be on top of every meal. You have to be on top of every cardio session. You got to be on top of every training session. You have to make sure your intensity matches every single time, if not better. And, you know, it puts a lot of stress on you because you feel like, if you fuck up one little time, then it's kind of all over. And that's just the kind of mindset that I have. Um, but I'm very happy that you guys are here watching my journey. It just makes me feel a little bit less kind of alone in the process. Um, but I promise you guys, I'm giving it my all. I'm giving it my everything. And like before, like six years ago when I first started this thing, you'll never, ever, ever catch me giving up on anything. When something challenges me, I always want to do it more. Um, so I'm very happy you guys are here, though. You guys, I really appreciate you guys, but um, we're going to end off the vlog right now and kind of end up with a little message that, you know, a lot of people have been commenting maybe. Um, they talk a lot about, hey, like, you know, you're copying Sam Silik's kind of like format and stuff. And in my opinion, I feel like, like, yeah, he kind of did start it in a sense um, in the terms of like car video recording and stuff like that. But um, I don't even watch anyone's footage, anyone's videos, anyone's anything. Uh, the only time I see anyone's stuff is like maybe on TikTok. Um, but I kind of don't like watching other people's stuff to keep my own ideas, you know, as creative as possible. But I'm just recording my workouts and my um, dieting and then just my life and maybe give you guys some kind of, you know, tips here and there. But uh, this is just what I'm doing, so I'm not trying to copy anyone or anything, so I don't know if, if you guys feel like that, I'm sorry about that, but um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I love you guys so much, and thank you guys for always supporting me and this thing that I'm doing, but I hope you guys have a good night, and I hope you guys kill all your goals. I love y'all.